Hey, good morning, Ryan and Ashley. Paul McLean here at Crest PRV, Buda, Texas. Thanks for stopping in the other day. I'm finally gonna get this uh, video to you. I'm sure you did some research on your own as well. But this is that Columbus mid-bunk that we liked while you were here. There are other mid-bunks available. This one, as we discussed, is gonna be probably your best bang for your buck as far as size, interior room, and price. Because it's pre-owned, we can add an extended warranty as far as that goes. It's a pre-owned 2022, and it's one, as I mentioned, that we purchased outright as opposed to trading it in. So we tend to kind of go through them even more thoroughly when we're gonna pay cash for something as opposed to trading it in for a, a sale. Um, so that's a good thing. I've had the uh, front awning out as far as she'll go. And then the other one I left in so you can see this metal wrapping. When this goes all the way in, this metal here wraps around it. So this fabric, even though the inside needs cleaning here, which we'll do, never really sees the sun unless it's out. So really protects it as far as that goes. Fully walkable roof, 50 amp camper with two air conditioners on um, and really I think for your guys' needs it's all about floor plan and this one had a floor plan you liked so let's take a look at it we looked at a smaller Jayco mid bunk didn't seem to be big enough and the only thing really that would compare to this is maybe a, a solitude or a reflection 367 mid bunk but it would be another good 15, 20 grand than the price of this. So that's kind of where we're at. This is a beautiful camper. We really liked it as far as interior goes. It has the lighter walls and window blinds, which kind of opens it up. Actually has a ceiling fan, large TV and fireplace right across from your recliners everything's in good shape this could probably pass as new once we cleaned it up this makes into a great big bed when you need it and the fireplace i have on now without any heat but when you turn the heat on it pretty much will heat this whole thing it's hot as heck and you can change of course the ambiance whatever you like and that's from the uh, local digital TV station so great picture right out here in the middle of the parking lot lots of accent lighting tons of storage not literally tons but a lot of storage everything's really <laughs> I like this one so it has the turkey ready real actual oven four burner range, residential refrigerator, basement freezer. Should be 30 inch, it might be fooling us. Nope, 30 inch microwave. Your island has 110 on the side so that you can use that for counter space as well. This that we thought was the pantry is the magic middle bunk. And so, bam, here you go. You guys will have to fight over who gets to work in here versus out on the dining room table, but you can shut the door and have the privacy when you need it. That's the whole point. This will pop up and go out of the way, or you can take it off completely, and then you can do whatever you want with this couch. You can leave it here, because it does make into a bed for guests, or you can take it out completely and give you a little bit more office space. That's going to be up to your creativity. You probably keep all this because you can keep work, work stuff here. And you're all set up to hook up monitors, computers, etc. Starlink is going to be your friend as far as getting uh, fast internet out in the middle of nowhere. Coming up the hallway, we have storage for you guys. So you can get some slide out trays and put them on here or just Tupperware and keep your winter clothes here in the summer, summer clothes 
in the winter, etc. I didn't check out the bathroom. Let's do that. Oh, wow. Okay, nice big shower. That's a huge shower with a seat. Porcelain toilet. I like that. Pretty standard, but it does have a lot of storage. And then your main bedroom. You can put a king or a queen in here, get your own mattress. You'd probably want to do that anyway on a pre-owned one. And then these lights sometimes are a blue light and then an accent light depending on how you push it, let's see. Oh, that's different. Wow, okay. So you've got a USB charge port in these and then you've got a little night light and you've got a reading light. Hadn't seen that before. Place for a TV in the bedroom if you want one. This, as I mentioned, you guys, has the quiet cool AC. So instead of seeing the air conditioner itself here, which you do in a lot of units, it's just the return vents. And that theoretically makes a quieter air conditioner. Big closet or where you're going to put a washer dryer, that's up to you. Otherwise, you've got his and her closets in here. With the light, I imagine. Yep. So to, if, you, if you need this kind of closet space, which full-timers generally do, or extended stayers, the only way to get that is to have the bedroom slide out here so that the bed goes east-west instead of north-south. And that's what we have in this case. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to get this right to you since it's a decent hour this morning. Let me know what you think. If this isn't the right one, let me know what it needs to have that it does not so that I can get you guys out in the wild blue yonder. My number is 406-696-4750. Look how beautiful this is. 406-696-4750. Remember we have the RV park on the premises so that we can teach you this completely and you can spend the night in it to make sure everything is 100%. Is this electric or? Oh, so this is a plus. Usually these recliners you release here and you have two positions you can sit at. Because this is electric, you can stop anywhere you want along the way and adjust your position almost to flat. So here you are after a long day of working at Glacier National Park. Bam! Let me know what you think. 406-696-4750. Let's go camping.